we'd have a little look at isotopes. So when you think of the word isotope, I actually need you to think of the word twin because an isotope is an identical version of the same atom, but it's just got a little bit more going on in terms of neutrons in its nucleus. Let me show you what I mean. So carbon is carbon 12, but there's also carbon 14. Carbon 12 has six protons and therefore six electrons so the only difference is in that mass number. It's going to have six neutrons. Let's look. One, two, three, four, five, six neutrons. One, two, three, four, five, six protons. And because we've got six positives, we're going to have six negatives. Okay, so that's carbon-12. So in carbon-14, we've still got our six protons. Because you've got your protons and they are six positives, you're going to attract six negatives, six electrons. But that mass number has got two more. So the additional two there is in the neutrons. Eight neutrons. One, two, three four, five, six, seven, eight. Six protons and therefore are six electrons. So let's just make sure you can see what's going on in the middle of our carbon-12 and our carbon-14. Okay, so carbon-14 has one, two, three, four, five, six protons. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight neutrons. Carbon twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six protons. One, two, three, four, five, six neutrons. So hopefully what you can see is that your carbons are still carbons. What makes them a carbon is their six protons and their six electrons. But because they are a twin of each other, one of your carbons has got six neutrons in its mass number and the other one's got eight. Leave a comment down below and let us know if we've nailed it. Or drop us a line at Learn at Cadizzi if there's other things you need us to cover. I hope we made that easy.